This marathon story is brought to you by North Central College. On a cold late fall day in 1975, the ninth annual Naperville Marathon took place. Runners braved the elements, trekking throughout the 26.2 mile course that headed east out of North Central College's campus. It would be the last time Naperville would host such an event until today. North Central College cross country coach Al Carius partnered with area schools to start up the competition. We tried to make it as convenient as we could. We started right at the front door of Murder Fieldhouse. That was the beginning, and we had a 13 mile loop that we made up, and it was encountered, you know, going up, you know, out to, out to Olson's Lane and then cutting over to uh, 75th Street and running down to 53. Carius remembers about 200 runners competing in the race that might seem primitive by today's standards. Athletes ran without energy gels or sweat-resistant uniforms, and there were certainly no TV stations covering the marathon. We were, you know, really just doing it, you know, without, again, a lot of understanding, insight, you know, support, everything else. I mean, we're just carrying around bottles of water to give to people. We didn't have water stations or anything like that. It got much more, you know, sophisticated with time. Tom Whitaker, a current assistant cross-country coach at NCC, took part of the most recent Naperville Marathon as a high school senior. According to him, the running scene has changed quite a bit since the mid-70s. You crossed the line, they handed you a popsicle stick that had your place on it, and then they clicked off your time somehow, and a little bit later you turned in your popsicle stick, found your time, and whatever awards you got. So, And, you know, the equipment's changed over the years. There's, it's a lot more sophisticated. Peter Farwell took first place in the 1973 Naperville Marathon with a time of 2 hours and 27 minutes. I happen to have the trophy from the race because I keep a few relics back in my house, and it says uh, N.C.C, North Central, I guess. His 23-year racing career includes a top 25 finish of the Boston Marathon and the Williams College record for the six mile. He watched the running scene evolve over his 25-year tenure as his alma mater's cross-country coach. You have, have some speed from if you're a good runner from high school and college, but then you go on and want to just say, what, what can I do? What is a 20-mile one? What's a marathon? What does it take to train to race a marathon rather than to just survive one? And that's always going to be something that everybody has to face, whatever era they're coming from. When word of the Naperville Marathon began to spread, it was tagged as the city's inaugural marathon by many Chicagoland media outlets. You might think that factual inaccuracy would irk, would occur, or carious. That, however, is not the case. you got to realize a lot of people, you know, that was a long time ago, they don't know about that. I'm just glad we're doing things like this to educate and let people know that, no, it's not the first marathon. Well, I'm excited about it, uh, you know, for several reasons. Number one, that a lot of people are doing something very, very healthy for themselves, and that's good. And I'm excited from the standpoint that really, you know, because we did start it here at North Central College, that now there's a continuity of something we started back in the 70s. And uh, to, to, to see it uh, continue now is, is, is rather gratifying to me. So for the first time since 1975, a marathon is back in Naperville.